Um, well, I'm hormonal, you're emotional. This could be a disastrous interview, but we'll start. Gemma Tassel, oh, I'm just going to hug you. You're home, clear on Santiago Bay. Um, but we have to talk about Spike. Um, right, what happened? You were going big guns. He was like, come on, mum, let's go. You were having a cracking round. And then suddenly it all unraveled up at the um, Jules Maltings. Yeah, well, I fell off, didn't I? It was pretty useless. Yeah, I didn't um, want to say it like that, but... Um, basically, we were having a perfect round. Um, yeah. He was completely with me today, which is so nice. Change of bit. Um, he felt fantastic. Um, and um, I was on the pace. Uh, you know, I was really on the time. I was uh, exactly on the clock when I came to that fence. You know, maybe one second down. But, I mean, it was like I was right up there. And looking back, if I'd done it again, um, I'd have stopped worrying about that, taken the pace off much earlier. Yeah. Um, prepared myself more around the corner. As I came around the corner, I went to bring him back and he just got a bit strong with me there. Um, I think at the top there, they can just go to their lungs a little bit, which is probably what was happening. And then I kind of panicked because he didn't come back to me and went to my hand and I shouldn't have gone to my hand. That was a stupid idea around Burley, wasn't it? And um, ran him in deep to the first one, which is so unlike me. Um, he hit the back rail of the first one and because Arctic Star is actually, Spike, is actually a very, very, very careful jumper, he then jumped the next one as if it was a 160 Oxford. I mean, just bang, just literally. And I landed past my line. Um, you know, then I went to turn, and he didn't really realise where I was going. Then all of a sudden he realised, oh, God, there's the jump. And it was just too late. And he still tried to jump it. Um, Bless the horse. Um, I put him in such a bad place. And he crashed through it. I fell off him. And he then stood there and looked at me as if to say, for God's sake, get up. We've got more to do. Clearly, we're not even halfway round. But then we have to look at your total baby. She, what a ledge! What a ledge! I saw you coming out of the trout hatchery, just like woohoo! Like that one. Let's go! And then you came home screaming. And it's it's not necessarily the fact that you've the, the clear round, is it? It's the fact that that horse has done it for you, isn't uh, it? She's um, she's such a game little mare, and I've always had such um, belief in her um, ability cross country. Well, jumping full stop. She's the most amazing jumper. You know, she could be a pure show jumper easily. She could jump 140s, 145. She goes out, she wins 130s. You know, she'd win a 130 week to week, back to back. You know, no, with her eyes shut. You know, she's just such fun, and she's so clever, clever and careful, and she just reads fences so well. Um, you know, she astounds me the way she can read a fence like this, like so fast. Um, and even though she's really very inexperienced at this level, this is only her fifth ever three day event. Um, you know, she's just, she feels like an old timer. Um, and we have the most amazing belief in each other in partnership. Um, I trust her jumping implicitly. Um, she snaps her front legs up. She looks where she's going and she's just a fantastic horse. And obviously you had to tackle that fence again up up in the, the Jules Maltings. But, um, and I have to say that was probably the only fence on course where you did have a little tiny look and then you really patted her. But was that, did you kind of just go, no, I have to trust her because I, ca I, I know how to ride this? Um, so I went, I came up the hill thinking, okay, I'm just going to jump one fence by one fence. So I jumped the first one, I thought, right, we're going to nail this. Because she just jumped it so well and so in balance, yeah. that I just knew that's how she was going to jump the second one. And I think <clears throat> when you have that balance, um, you know, it's what horse riding is all about. Whether you're trotting around the school or galloping around Burley.